I'm Nikki Fitness coming to you from the red carpet. Coming up, our warm up. We begin the warm up with shoulder rolls. Three, two, one, and forward for three, two, one. Feet apart, back down, round up. One more time, down and up. Let's reach to the side, stretching out the long waist. Up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and across the chest. Reach those shoulders, two, three, four, five, six. Same legs, different arms. Get low, get low. Lunging out, warming up the quads, saying hello to our legs. Four, three, two, new move, side to side. Work it out, warming up the legs. Four, three, two, new move again. Thighs and strong shoulders, lift to the sky. Eight more. Five. Four, three, two, one. Plie squats, knees over the ankles, up and down. We're going through all the moves we're going to be doing later. This works the inner thighs, the quads, and the glutes. Now add some arms, push and pull, chest and upper back. Eight more. Five, four, squeeze. Three, two, one. Last move, to the side, reach, squat, and reach. This is for the glutes and the triceps. Kick back. Now putting it all together with an eight count. Shoulders, two, three, four, five, six, seven, roll the back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, eight, and reach. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, shoulder level. Eight, four, three, two, get lower to the ground and reach and lunge. Three, four, five, six, seven, outer thighs and shoulders for eight. Five, six, seven, Eight, plie squats down. Two, three, nice wide stance. Four, two, and one, and turn, kick, kick. Last, five, six, seven, and breathe. March out. The next multitasking toning moves work the triceps three times, but also the calves and the glutes. So triple threat for the triceps. Take the hands, bring them overhead. To modify, place them together, lift, it's called a French press. Otherwise, separate the hands for more of a challenge. Now add on our calf moves for those short dresses or slits. Eight, seven, Now here's six, tip, your first trainer's tip. Five, Keep the knees soft and four, the abs tight for all 20 three, reps. Three, two, and now count up to 10 more. One, two, three, Four, five, six, up on the toes, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we did 20 all together. Hitting the triceps again right here. Bend at the waist, flat back, lift the elbows to the sky. Level one is just kickbacks, toning the back of the arms for the strapless stresses. If you want to make this harder, put your weight on the left and kick the right heel up. Abs are tight, so you're really working three parts of the body. Triceps, glutes, and hamstrings, and abdominals. We're doing 20 all together, so 15 more. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, and switch legs. Nine, eight, it helps to find a focal point on the floor to stare and keep your balance. Five more, four, three, Strong leg, two, and one. Nice job, round up the back. We're heading to the floor now. You can put the weights down. This is called the tricep can-can. This is called the tricep can-can. Hands with the fingers pointing towards the toes, underneath the shoulders. 
Lift the hips up. Level one is just here, dip just a little bit, elbows behind you. Level two, take the foot to the ceiling and can cat it. Down and up, down and up. 20 all together. So here's five, six. By adding the leg with the arms, seven, you also work your back side. A little extra bonus. Nine, 10 and switch sides. Keep the arms going. And 10 more here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Strong arms, you can do it. Two and one. Nice job. Let's stretch out those triceps. Keep your chin lifted. Try not to let it drop down to the floor. And breathe. Reach those fingers down your back. Pat yourself on the back for getting through that workout. Now get ready for cardio with knee ups and rock climbers. Now cardio, let's move the weights off to the side and stand up. You will need a lot of room because we're coming to the floor. We start out with, with knee ups. So jog and bring your knee up to the belly button level. So if you want, you can put your hands here, bring the knees up. Otherwise, big jogging arms. Our four cardio Nine, intervals. We'll start burning the fat that's over 16, the muscles. 15, we tone turn, the muscles 14, from underneath 13, and then burn the 12, fat over top 11, of them for a nice 10, slim lean. Now get ready to get to the floor. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it to the floor. Down, plank, rock climbers. Knee in. Same thing you did standing up. Keep the hips low. Strong arms like the top of a push up. Working the abs as we bring the knees in. Ten. Nine more. Alignment check. Look in between your hands. Make sure your hands are under your shoulders and your Four, hips are low to the floor. Three, two, hold the plank, jump it in, stand it up. 20 more knees. 10 here, then we turn. To modify this move, just Six, march in place. Five, four, three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, turn. Six, five, four, three, two, rock climbers. Down. Plank, 20, 16, 15, 14. This is one of my favorite multitasking cardio moves 10, because you have nine, arms, abs, legs, and cardio. You can do it. Strong arms, three, two, one. Hold the plank, squat the rest it up. Kick it out and breathe. Now you deserve a water break. Take a second. Next up, we'll work the biceps for those strapless stresses. Get ready, we also have calves, inner thighs, and glutes. We need our weights again. Bicep curls to the front, and we lift on the calves, up and down for 20, 19, 18. Keep the wrist from breaking by keeping your wrist and hand and elbow all in line. So we don't want to take our wrists up, and we don't want to flip them. Keep them nice and lined and strong. Ten more. Nine. Release it all the way down. Eight. Control it. Seven. Up on the toes. In our last set of bicep curls, we had a different Four. alignment. Now we're hitting Three. other fibers in that muscle group Two. by turning the hands forward. One. Now we flip for hammer curls. Take the legs out. We'll also work the inner thighs for a multitasking move. Down and lift. Four. Shoulders. Floor shoulders. Knees over the ankle and get nice and low. 15 more. 13, 12. Full range of motion all the way down, all the way up. 7, 6, 5. Good job. 4. You can do it. Abs tight. 3, 2. Squeeze the glutes as you stand and 1. Last one for the biceps. Push your weight on the left side Flex the right foot. Take your weights as if you're going to do a curl, but we extend the arm all the way out. Avoid locking the elbow, but keep it as straight as you can. Whew, you can feel this one. 20 all together. Here's 17. I call 16. this one reaching for the stars, toning the arms, legs, and abs all at the same time. Breathe. 11. 10. Abs tight. We're working this whole core area. 7. Six, five, keep the base leg soft, four, three, two, and one. Good, you should feel that in that outer thigh as well. Balance on the right, flex the left, lift the sky. Whoa, 
We can feel that. Four, five, working that outer thigh, six, seven. If you have trouble balancing, find a focal point on the floor in front of you. That will help you get your balance and stay strong. We want balance to be a challenge, so you work your abs Eight more. Seven, strong arms, six, five, four, three, two, last bicep of the day. Great job. To stretch those out, thumbs to the floor, reach back, deep breath, and then also flip the fingers to the floor and stretch out the front. I'm using five pound weights today, but you can also do these moves with eights or threes. And breathe. I call this next move plyo power. It's my secret glute move to tone your backside and sweat. To modify, right kick forward, left kick back. Do about four of these and get your balance. Then we take it to the floor, hand on top of the leg as you go down. Ten. Nine, eight, really push up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now count up, one. Most of my two, cardio moves are called plyometrics, three, where you're using your muscles four, to drive you from standing five, to crouching on the floor. Six, it's the best way to burn Two fat. more, seven, eight, Nine, last one, ten. Nice job. Kick it out. Other side. Left kick forward, right kick back. Four, slow. You can stay here if you're modifying. Then take it to the ground, hand on the leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, count the other direction. Ten, nine, eight. This ten. move is from my booty camps. This is the best way I know to work your glutes. Four, three, you got it. Two, make it work. One, ah. Kick that out. Great, now march it out, cool down, take a little water break, and recover. Next up, we're striking a pose with shoulders. We're saving time with a three-part move to lift, push, and extend. This next shoulder move hits three parts at the same time, so we save a lot of time. Make your feet look like the letter T. Your front toe, your right, your back toe, your left, makes the letter T. Turn to face your front toe, start kicking back. So we're hitting the glutes. Now let's add those shoulders. We drag it up, push it out, take it to the side and down. So we have 10 here. Out and down, core is tight. Here's number three. Push, out, down. Four, push, out, down. Five. It's important here not to bend Six. the knee. You keep it bent about 20% the whole time, Seven. but you don't bend it actively in and open. Eight. That would be a hamstring curl. We're focusing Out on glutes. Down. Almost there. Get ready to do the other leg. Last one. Good, shake it out. Let's switch sides. Left toe forward, right toe. The arch comes to meet the heel. Soft knees, shoulders face the front leg. Kick back and we're reversing the arms this time. Out first, in, and down. Out to the front, in, and down. Be careful of the muscles by your neck and ears. You wanna keep those away. So keep going. Instead of lifting up like this, relax your shoulders down as you perform each move. And now I'm with you. And in, and down. Out, forward, in, and down. Five more. Keep those kicks going. Whew, feel those shoulders toning already. We get Jennifer Anderson's shoulders, Madonna's shoulders, any star you want to look like. I'm sure they do this move. Pull it in and down. You'll feel it tomorrow. Whew, last one. Out, forward, in, and down. This next cardio interval gets you sweating with some jacks and hit the floor 
with push-ups. Here's our squat thrust jack push-up combo. Two jacks, get down, squat thrust into a plank, push up, stand up, and do it again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's jack, jack, down, plank, push up, in, and stand. If you're modifying, follow me on this one. You step back to a plank, step in, and stand. Jack, jack. Now we're pushing it hard. Push up, in, stand. Five more. Push it even harder here when at the end of the move, you actually jump and let your feet leave the floor right Four. there. Jack, jack, down. Plank, push up, in, stand. Jack, jack, down. Plank, strong push up. Two more. Jack, jack, down. Plank, push up. Last one, you got it. Work off those calories. Down, strengthen those arms, and stand. Whew. Awesome job. <sighs> Great job on that cardio. Now towel off, get some water, and recover. Next up in our red carpet boot camp, working the back muscles for those backless dresses. We'll also hit our glutes and abs. So for the upper back toning, we lean forward. You remember this from the beginning when we did tricep kickbacks? This is a reverse fly. So we start with just the arms, elbows to the sky. Your arms are almost bent, not totally straight. We're not hyperextending. The backs of the hands to the sky. When you're ready, put your weight on your left, lift the right leg. We have 10 on each side. So we're down to just about eight, seven, squeeze the shoulder blades, six, five, four, three, these five pound weights start to feel heavy, and one. Great, switch sides, or continue on if you just had both feet on the ground. Two, three, four, squeeze in the glutes, five, abs tight, six. Again, find that focal point on the floor to steady yourself. Two more. Last one. Ah, round up the back. Okay, moving on. Put both weights in the same hand. Get into a lunge position, left leg forward. Drop the weight to the floor. Level one is elbow to the sky. Level two, put your weight on that front leg and pull the back leg in. Take the back knee to the floor. That'll really work your front glute. You'll start to feel it. Lift the elbow. We have 10 on each side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Switch it up. So we have 20 with a smooth all together, and then one more for the upper back. You gotta get in shape for those backless dresses. Lift. This also is great for your posture. These moves are also important if you have muscle Four, imbalance from doing too five, many push-ups and nice not enough upper back work or from sitting at a computer or a steering wheel much of the day. Camera flash moment. Four, three, feel the glute working. Two, and one. Ah. Now we take it to the floor. Place your weights down, step back into plank. Hold here, focus abdominals at first. Then lift elbow to the sky, elbow to the sky. A trainer tip here, keep your feet a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. Lift and lift, keep the hips low. If you have a mirror, it's great to check your form so your hips don't rise like this. Keep them down in a plank position. Whew. We're aiming for 20 all together, so we have about 14 more. To modify this move, do the same thing but without weights. You'll still feel it in your back and abdominals. Okay. Five, abs tight. Four, bring the elbow up. Three, two, and one. Sit back into child's pose. <sighs> Take a little break, you deserved it. To stretch that muscle out, link the fingers, push forward. And breathe. It's our last cardio interval. You're almost done. We're putting everything together, starting with the knee ups. So pull the knees up. We have 20 here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's turn it. 
Remember to bring your knees up to the belly button. Even put your hands down if you need to. Five more. Four, three, two, fly your power. It's right for 10, nine, eight. This cardio interval includes seven, all of them together. So knee ups, six, mountain climbers, plyometric five, kicks, and squat thrusts. Four, three, Get ready to two, switch legs directly to the other one side. Other leg, it's kick, left leg forward. Three, four, five, six, seven. You can do it, almost there. Push it up. Two more. Last one. Jack it out. Let's turn. Other side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count down to squat thrust. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, squat thrust, plank five, push up. Four, Same count as three. before. Hit the ground. Down, plank. Push up, in, stand, jack, jack, down, plank, push up, in, stand. Eight more. Remember you can add even more intensity with a hop as you stand up. Seven, jack, jack. To modify, remember, step back and in. Six more, jack, jack, down, plank, push up. Five to go. Four more. Three. Two more, then stay on the ground. After this one, squat thrust up. Now two jacks, plank push up. Stand the ground for rock climbers. 20, 19. 14, 13, 12, you're almost there. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, come on up. Whew. Whew. Grab a towel, wipe off that sweat, and get some more water. Now we're heading to abs for that hourglass figure look. Grab your weights. Make your own star shape on the floor here. Start out in the letter X chest and obliques. Lift and crunch the shoulder off the mat. Reach for that opposite shoe. 20 all together. Stay strong. You just have four minutes to go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Crunch it up. Ten. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Reach. Five. Three. Keep breathing. Two. And one. From here, place the weight behind your head. Round down. And crunch. This is easy. Just do 20. To modify this, perform it without a weight. Four, five, six. Keep the chest, chest and shoulders and chin lifted. Look at the ceiling. I like to call this my ab crunch on steroids. Without the steroids, the weight does all Ten the work more. for you. Nine, eight, four, three, two, and one, and hold it. Breathe and release. Now we take the weight in our hands, overhead, and elongate the legs. This is level three. Bring it into the shoelaces and down. To make this easier, take the feet up and drop the weight. Let's do 20. One, two, three, four, Hover those feet off the ground. Seven, get long and crunch. Eight, knees to the nose. 10 more to go. 11, 12, 
13. If the back starts rising, take the feet up higher. We want that low back pressed into the floor or the red carpet. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Great job. Roll it up. Last move. Planks on the elbow. Both feet together. You can also make this harder by coming onto the hand. Your choice. We call this thread the needle. Down and up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch positions. Ten more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. This plank series is fantastic at whittling the waist one. right above your hips for that hourglass figure in your photos. Now stay where you are, on the elbow. Lift and tip, tap the hip. So they get. Now stay where you are, down on the forearm. Feet stacked. Lift the hip. I just call this the hip tap. One, two, four. Think about right here. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it and release. Other side. Last move of the day. You can do it. On the forearm or up on the hand, your choice. Thread the needle. Stagger the feet. Hand up. One, two, three, four, five. Abs tight. Keep breathing. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch the hand if you'd like. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Oh, I can feel those abs. I hope you can. And one. Now bring it down. Hip tap. Stack the feet. Forearm. And just tap it out for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Four, three, two, hold, and we're done with the hard stuff. You had an intense workout and you deserve a soothing stretch. So let's start with our hamstrings. Place the legs in front of you, fold down over the legs, keeping the knees down on the mat. Reach for the shins, the shoelaces, wrap your fingers around your shoes, whatever you can reach, and as you inhale, a little longer as you exhale, fold lower and hold. Two more inhales. And release. Come back up and cross the leg over. Outer thighs and glutes here. Pulling the leg in, sitting up nice and tall. Breathe into that stretch, creating space. And exhale, pull it in a little tighter. And exhale. When you're ready, switch legs. Again, sitting up nice and tall, avoiding the roundness in the back. Grow a little bit taller, pull the leg in, and breathe into that hip. Activate the lower leg, the one that's straight out in front of you. Pull the arms in. One more breath for that outer thigh and glute. And exhale. Great. Next, inner thighs. Place the legs together into a butterfly. Lean forward as close as you can go. And it's not about how close you get to the floor. It's long in the back and lean. So again, we'd like to avoid rounding just to come down. Lifting out through the back, perhaps pressing your elbows into the legs, and hold. Exhale, maybe get a little lower. And slowly.
slowly release. Next, we'll stretch out the shoulders. Place the hands right next to the hips, lift the hips up, and gently let your neck come in line with your spine. Reach through the neck, stretching out the front of the shoulders, lifting the hips up a little higher, and knees stay directly over the ankles. Hold one more breath in, and release. And lower down. Now triceps. Sit up nice and tall, take the fingers down the back, and pull the elbow behind your head. Breathe in, and exhale. Two more breaths. Last one. Switch sides. Breathe in, and exhale. Two more. Reach the fingers down the back, give yourself a pat on the back for getting through the workout. And release. We'll move on to the chest. Take the fingers behind you and try to put your hands together as you lift. Two more times, breathe in. And exhale, lifting a little bit higher. Avoiding bouncing and just holding and lifting. Last breath, and lower. And now a bicep stretch. Sitting forward, take the fingertips down to the floor. Feel the stretch through that front of the arm, and switch sides. Fingertips to the floor, and reach. And release, shake it out, maybe roll those wrists a little bit. And let's do the back. Taking the fingertips, interlace them around through the back. Hold for another breath. Stretching out and lengthening the trapezius and rhomboids. And bring it down. Now let's stand up for some quadriceps, hip flexor, and calf stretches. So come on up and place your left foot in front. Right heel all the way into the floor. Hold that stretch with the front knee over the ankle, leaning into it. Really pushing into that back leg as if you're trying to push the floor away from you and behind you. And hold for three breaths. Two. And for the quadricep, bend the knee right underneath your shoulder. And hold. The heel is off the ground on this one. Keeping that alignment right here. Hips straight. Front knee stays over the ankle. One more breath. And now hip flexor. Taking the heel up off the floor, walking it back. Release your grip on the front. Lift the arms to the sky. Mini back bend and hold. Now let's do those three stretches on the other side. Start with the calf, heel into the floor, front knee over the ankle. Push that heel down and away from you. Breathe and lean. Working that area right between the knee and the ankle. And last breath. Now quadricep, bend the knee underneath by lifting the ankle. And just hold it here. Maybe a little bit lower, keeping the hips squared right under the shoulders. And now back, hip flexor stretch. Lift the heel and lengthen that straight back leg. Again, this is where you're feeling it, right underneath where the pocket would be. And hold. Perhaps back bend, intensifying, feeling strong back leg and release it down. Breathe it up, and exhale. Now remember how great your workout felt today, and how good the stretch was after. Use that memory to bring you back to your mat again this week. You can always visit NikkiFitness.com for free weekly motivational newsletters, music playlists, and the other DVDs. And if you ever think you just don't have time for a workout, remember my mantra, fitness, fit it in. And here are the Nikki Fitness do's and don'ts for posing on the red carpet. 
Tip one, your dress. Choose a flattering dress for your shape and height and nude shoes or strappy sandals that elongate your legs rather than ankle boots or chunky shoes in a dark color. That will shorten your leg. Long necklines and jewelry are better than short chokers. Posing tip number two, minimize arm flab. Instead of laying arms at your side, thereby adding width, Instead, keep them away from your body, either using a clutch or hands on your hips, elbows back, chest lifted. This will slim and even show off some muscle tone. Posing tip number three. Go three-dimensional rather than one-dimensional. So don't face the camera square on. Create depth instead with a pose from your toe in front to tilted hips to your elbows reaching behind you. And don't forget to smile.